Christmas raindrops falling on the roof. Oh baby, tell me why'd you have to go? 'Cause this pain, I feel it won't go away. And today, I'm officially missing you. I thought that from this heartache I could escape, but I've run it long enough to know there ain't no way. And today, I'm officially missing you. Nobody do it like you. Said every little thing you do. Hey baby, say it stays on my mind. And I, I'm officially missing you. Hello. I have an 8 a.m. online class in economics, and I didn't go in. The next class is still at 10, which is English. We're going to Grand Prairie immediately after class for my sister's birthday. So straight from school, I'm going to Grand Prairie. It's gonna be a long day. The deadline is 11.59 tonight and I'm barely done. I am not understanding anything in this class but I will try to self-teach today. Currently 9.07 p.m. so I only have around 3 hours to finish my homework. All I do is lay around Two ears full of tears From looking at your face on the Continue demand And when we're moving along the demand curve We're going to be talking about Hello 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 Hello
보고 싶어 yeah. 빌리빌리 진 우리 앞 우리 앞 yeah. 시계 시계 질투 자유로운 날 it's currently 9.40 p.m. I'm applying for a visa, so I'm in the office scanning some documents. If you have a strong passport, you should be grateful right now. Preparing for visa requirements literally make me want to rip all my hair out. <laughs> It's 5.23 in the morning and I haven't slept yet. I need to be up at 6.40. What the hell? Oh my god. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> I look so sleep deprived, but whatever. Thick floor. Life update. Still alive somehow. Sunday 1 p.m. I had 10 hours of sleep which was amazing. I just realized how crazy the past week has been. On Wednesday as you saw in the video I only had an hour of sleep. I went to my visa appointment, I attended class, and had like a few minutes of naps in between just to keep my body going. I finished my last class at 3 and then at 5 I had to work until 11. That day, I also had an 11.59 deadline. It was an English essay. I already did half of it in school, and so my plan was to finish it when I come home from work. When I came home from work, I was too tired, and I just decided I'll take the L, whatever. And so, I just accepted my fate and submitted my English homework late. And then on Thursday, I had an econ deadline, so I crammed that one again, and then I had to work another six hours and then on friday i skipped my morning classes and i had to stay in the library to finish all my backlogs and then on saturday work again and now it's sunday in two hours i'll have to work again <laughs> anyway i wanted to show you guys my recent purchases first is this ujazz jacket from stussy i've always wanted a stussy item and i wanted to buy them in person but there's no stussy in edmonton which is so sad so i just ordered it online i got it in medium because i wanted an oversized one now i realize i should have gotten it in small but it's okay next is from garage my sister is from grand prairie so we went there one weekend for her birthday and we did a little bit of shopping i got this jogger and it's really so so nice i love it the material is very soft too very perfect for cold weather because it's getting so cold in my city now and then i got this top 
this top is very trendy i've seen it a lot on pinterest and on youtube and it's so pretty so i got one i also got a navy blue shirt but it's in the laundry right now i went to shoppers i got a bunch of hair ties because for some reason i always lose hair ties i also got this necklace so so pretty and another necklace it's so cute it's like a set a heart a moon and a star and these two i did not buy this i will never buy this with my own money when i started university i've been going home with headaches a lot because of my eyesight i really don't want to sit in the front i also don't want to sit in the back i'm always in the middle which is okay for me but in my english class i had no choice because i was kind of late so i'm sat in the back and oh my god my eyes this is my professor's pov like i can't see anything because he uses whiteboard a lot not like projector so i always have to read markers and i'm like this is part of my dad's health benefits so if we use girl math it's basically free anyway i got my eyes tested in lens crafters which has like a lot of selection for eyeglasses and initially i wanted a black frame but my previous eyeglasses were black so i wanted to try something new i don't know if I look good in these, but I don't care anymore. I need to see. Let me tell you, when I first wore this, I saw like every leaf on the tree. And my doctor also told me I can't drive without these anymore because my eyesight is that bad. I didn't realize it was that bad. And then I had the opportunity and I took it. I got these sunglasses. It also has prescription. When I choose sunglasses, I love this shape. Like, I don't like the round ones too much. Next thing I bought is this curling iron and brush. And then you can also change it with a brush if you want. And this is my final purchase. I am so excited to unbox this. I think I should call my mom. I just got home from work. I mean, I'm not home yet, but I just finished work. I'm in the parking lot right now. I needed a change of scenery to study for my econ midterm, which is coming up this Friday. Our exam covers 10 chapters and I've only studied two so far and it's Sunday. So I still have four days to catch up with the rest of the eight chapters. Anyway, it's 11 p.m. I came to buy a shake. I needed a sweet treat after that shift. It wasn't terrible, it was just physically tiring. I don't care, I just care about you. Yogi up there, how you like that? But you could take a bin tartari, chevelate, paxu gaiche. I'm gonna go back at love you say